Hello everyone, today we're working on a 2003 Chevrolet Trailblazer with a 4200 engine in it and we have a P1345 code which is crankshaft camshaft correlation problem and this vehicle has about 180,000 miles on it uh, kind of on its last legs, the customer doesn't want to put a lot of money into it so what we're going to do is pull out that uh, cam actuator solenoid and uh, we're going to take a look at that and uh, we've looked at it through the modus already uh, everything seems to be getting signals like it should out to that solenoid to actuate and do what it should but we're still getting the code so the thing seems to idle alright uh, at the higher speeds cruising it kind of up and down in RPM just like it's kind of hunting around but uh, we're going to go ahead and pull out that solenoid we'll show you how to do that and uh, we'll take a look at it and see if it's varnished up or if the screens are plugged in it and uh, we'll go from there so we'll get there and get back with you okay the first thing we got to do is get this sensor plug in out of the way right here when you take this off, there's a there's a little keeper that holds it all together. And the best thing to do is to uh, pop that little keeper off. Kind of locks it on there. And uh, once you get that off, that allows you to squeeze that tab right here and release off of the sensor. So that gets that out of the way. And once that's out of the way, then we unplug the, uh, the cam sensor, the phase uh, sensor right here. And the other thing we have to do is take off the serpentine belt and take out the three bolts. You can go through the pulley right here to get the three bolts and you can move that power steering pump enough out of the way to get that solenoid out. And then that solenoid, it sets up a little bit. There's a one bolt right in here. It's got a 10 millimeter head. That one little bolt goes in right there at the end of that screwdriver. So we take that bolt out, and I've had this one pried loose already, but what you'll have to do is work it. There's an O-ring seal in there, and you can kind of help pry that out. And once you got that power steering pump slid out of the way, you can get that solenoid out. And as we look at this one, and I do have a new one, um, because again, this vehicle, we're, we're trying to prolong the life of it. And uh, if she's got, if this vehicle has got a bad uh, uh, timing chain or any of the components down there, they've already decided they're not going to put the money in it to fix it. And pulling this one out, you can see it's had a diet of petroleum-based oil all its life. And we can see the varnish build up right there. It's, it's that kind of tannish stuff. And then right here, this looks like the uh, oil supply. And you can see on the new one, the screen is nice and clean where all the holes are at, like right there. But what we have here is a whole bunch of the, uh, looks like sludge and stuff, plugging that screen off. And uh, what that's going to do is it's going to stop us from getting that actuation oil from pro oil pressure from, from the uh, uh, oil gallery feeding up to it. Because all this solenoid is doing is directing that fluid to the cam phaser to move it where it needs to be according to what the computer is telling it. So it looks like it, uh, it's got a, quite a bit of plugging there on those screens with the sludge from, uh, from all the deposits over the years. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop this new SAM cam sensor in, or the solenoid in, and uh, we're going to take it for a drive and see what it does. So we're going to put this new solenoid in. It's got an O-ring right here that seals it up, seals the oil in. Uh, we put a little bit of grease on that to ease uh, sliding it in and uh, basically slide it in until it bottoms out and then we put the bolt in hook this harness back up and uh, we'll put the power steering pump back in place and put on the serpentine belt and put on the uh, put on the other plug in here in this other sensor here in the front and from that point then we'll take it for a drive and see what it does okay we have the new uh, solenoid in for the cam actuator and we're going to test it here. We can go into the snap-on modus and we can go into the output controls and we're going to do that and uh, what I can do is take control of that solenoid and see if it changes the uh, how that engine runs and we can verify if it's actually working according to uh, when I take control of it. So go to, go to the uh, output controls go to cam phaser solenoid okay we got to maintain about 1,000 to 1,500 RPM during the test. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to just scroll down so we can uh, kind of see what we're doing. Actually, uh, 
Red scroll, yes. Okay. Now we're going to go to the test and just take note of how the engine runs as we uh, ratchet up on that cam phase or solenoid. It'll go from 0 to 80 or 90 and as you go up it's going to move the, uh, the pitch of the, of the camshaft and it's going to change how it runs. And that will verify if our, uh, if our um, solenoid is actually functioning as it should, moving as it should. So let me get this up to where we need to be for RPMs. And if I can hold it there steady. Start a test. Okay. It's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. There we can tell it's starting to it's starting to run a little rough. There's 80. There's 90. You can really tell it's running rough there, shaking the vehicle. So we're we're gonna back out of it here again. Whoop. lost my RPM there. I got just out of whack on the RPM. I went below a thousand and kicked me out. But that kind of verifies that that cam sensor is working. I tried this test with the old cam solenoid and uh, I couldn't even do the test. It wouldn't allow me to do it. So there's obviously a problem with that solenoid. This one here is responding. Uh, we're going to erase the code. We're going to take it for a drive and, and uh, we're going to see if it comes back. So get back with you. Okay we've driven about 15 miles in the vehicle. We've gone through all the uh, the history codes, the failed designation codes, um, any requests for maintenance indicator light, um, last test failed and test failed since code cleared. Everything's clear, everything's good. So uh, we're going to return this to the customer and I believe we've put this problem to rest. Um, I think we just had a bad uh, bad cam solenoid, cam phaser solenoid. And I think a lot of it had to do with the fact that with the uh, debris in the screens were stopping the flow to it and also the varnish and it was probably keeping it from moving like it should so I want to thank you for watching the video and have a great day thank you for watching my YouTube video please check out my other videos on my YouTube page and I want to introduce you to Amsoil's full line of synthetic lubricants uh, we have the most complete line of synthetics for your automotive and light truck needs uh, as well as heavy equipment and semis full line of synthetics been around since 1972 and you can check those out at www.donsoil.com also, we have a page for looking up fluid capacities, and that one is fluidcapacity.com. And you can go in there and you can get all your fluid capacities of your vehicle. You can print off a list so that you've got all the capacities of your cooling system, your transmission, your engine, all those. And have a great day.